So usually I like to wait until 11 o'clock to eat, but today it's nine o'clock and I'm hungry. So generally if it's just like a light rumbling of hunger, I can delay it. But right now it's starting to take over my mind like, you're hungry, eat, eat, eat. And in that case, I'm gonna eat so that I can move on and focus on work. So I'm gonna have my Atkins bar. So this is a chocolate peanut butter Atkins bar. Has no maltitol, it might have some other stuff in it, but I really just look for maltitol and IMO. This will work for me. It tastes delicious and it will definitely keep me satisfied until after 11 o'clock when I'm gonna have my first real meal. This is what it looks like. Mmm. Okay guys, it is time for my first meal of the day and I am very excited. I am making something I've never had before. I'm just trying my take on like a McGriddle or a sweet breaded breakfast sandwich. And so I did that by making basically the same protein muffins and waffles that I've been having for the last couple weeks, but I put them in a donut mold this time. And so I'm gonna cut this in half and I got a sausage patty in the microwave and then I'm gonna cover that with egg and then I'm gonna cover that with cheese and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so right here I have a cheese square that I made just by baking a dozen eggs in a baking dish in the oven. So I'm gonna heat this up. Hitting that with a slice of good old American cheese. Oh. Look at this, oh it's so crispy. Okay, and then to give it that 100% McGriddle feel, I am just gonna use about a tablespoon of sugar-free syrup. Got my syrup. Got my massive egg. Got my sausage patty. My top. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, piping hot and it looks amazing. All right, I'm gonna try a bite. Oh my God, look at me holding it in my hand like an actual breakfast sandwich, yes. <laughs> this is so good. I can taste everything and the little bit of that syrup and the cheese and the egg and the sausage. I am so happy right now, like I cannot even. So I'm gonna eat this and I'm going to enjoy it. I'm gonna watch some TV for a little bit on lunch and then I'm gonna get back to work. Oh my gosh. It shouldn't be this good. It shouldn't be allowed to taste this good. So that McGriddle was out of this world and I am so excited to have that every single day this week. But now it's time to get back to work and so I just wanted to let you know that I am going to have a piece of gum. I have two pieces of gum a day, one after every meal and it is just my mental signal that eating time is over and it's time to focus on something else. So I'm gonna have a piece of gum now and I will have a piece of gum after my second meal as well. Also, I sip on some Powerade through the day. So I have barely gotten into this one because I've been making a point to actually drink water, which I'm really proud of. Someone on Instagram or YouTube had the best suggestion ever, which is if you drink about halfway down, then go ahead and just fill it back up with water. So it'll be a little weaker, but it'll still be juice-like, and that's another good way to get in your water and to make these things stretch. I've been doing that ever since she told me about it. I was like, that's brilliant. I'm gonna be doing that from now on. So I will drink half of this, fill it back up with water, and then I'll drink the rest of it. And then I'm also gonna try to incorporate more water as well. So got my gum, got my drink, time to get back to work. All right, so around this time of day, I usually like to have a tea to hold me over until dinner. Normally, that is the Tazo Passion Tea. I tried it for the first time a few weeks ago and I've been obsessed ever since. 
So moving forward, this will be the only thing I ever purchase. However, when I first bought a bunch of them because I wanted to give teas a try, I bought a bunch of different types. But now that I've stumbled upon this one, I'm never going to use a different type. So basically what I've decided is that I need to just use up all the other teas because I bought them and I don't want to waste them. But like, this is all you need right here. So basically this week I am having the vanilla caramel chai tea. I mean, not too excited about it. I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be okay, but nothing is the passion tea, let's be honest. So I done brewed me some chai tea. I am going to pour it in my baby mason jar and I'm gonna hit it with a splash of heavy cream. All right, approximately a tablespoon. There you go. Give this a mix. It actually doesn't taste that bad. It's just not the passion tea. Like I'm spoiled, what can I say? So I'm gonna drink this, this is good. It's good enough for me to at least drink all the bags that I bought, hello. Uh, and then I'll take it back to the passion tea. But I'm gonna drink this, I have a meeting, and then I will probably eat around five. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I drank maybe three sips of that tea and I poured it out and I poured the entire huge jug out too. And I'm gonna make some passion tea tonight. Like, who was I kidding? So that was a fail. Now it is dinner time and for dinner, I have buffalo chicken casserole. This is very exciting. You can see there the piece is missing. It's already in the microwave. I have not really done anything like this before. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. It looks mm, and smells delicious. So I did save some room to top it with some jalapeno bacon ranch. It's not true buffalo if you don't have ranch. And I have blue cheese in there as well. It's the best of both worlds. Why choose when you can have both? So I'm gonna top it with some jalapeno ranch and some more hot sauce because also, why is it buffalo if it's not as hot as it can be? Let's go in for a taste. This is delicious. It tastes just like a buffalo chicken dip. It is creamy, it is chickeny, it is buffalo-y. It is amazing. Mm. This is great. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm going to come back for dessert. Overall, that was amazing. I will say next time I could definitely afford to stretch it a little bit with like some spinach or broccoli. I mean, that was just basically a meat patty. It was like 80 grams of protein because it was just a lot of chicken. So in eating it, I was like, you know what? If we threw some more vegetables in here, it would definitely be a lot more filling and less protein. But now I am on to dessert and you know what that is, Jello and Zevia. Today's Zevia is lemon lime twist and it's gonna be amazing. So I'm going to have two cups of Jello one Zevia and a piece of gum, and that will finish me out for the day. Thank you so much for watching this What I Eat Wednesday. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. Also give this video a thumbs up and comment below. I make weekly meal preps, weekly What I Eat Wednesdays, and monthly weigh-ins. You can also find me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.